Hi, Susan Mershon, the Techie Mentor. Thank you for stopping by. Today's tip is on Microsoft Excel, and we're going to talk a little bit about formulas. So first off, just a reminder, um, I'm on a Mac, so if you're on a PC, your screen will look a little different than mine, but everything else will be the same. If there's any great variations, I will certainly bring them to your attention. So we're going to talk again about formulas, and today's tip is how to easily get a sum or an average of cells of numbers in your document without having to have to paste the information in your document. So for instance, I can easily grab these cells right here and get a total. Okay? If I actually want to add the total to my document, I would simply select these cells, which are the four that I want to add, including the cell where the total will be, and then I click on my auto sum button, which is looks like the funny E on your toolbar. And that will go ahead and give me a total. But what if I don't want the result of the formula to be in my document. So let's say real quick that I need to know how much my benefits were for the for the year so far. So I can drag across these, but I don't want to put the sum here. I don't want to sum it up. I just want to know quickly what I've spent. So if I drag across these cells, what I can do is quickly look down here at the status bar, which is the bar at the bottom of your screen. And in this instance, you'll know my, notice mine says count equals six. You'll also notice I have a little drop down here. If I click on the drop down, you'll notice that you get the, the formulas that are used the most in Excel. So I can say, okay, I want to quick sum of the numbers that I selected above, so I can click on sum. And notice that it doesn't paste it in my document, which I don't want it to do. It gives me the sum total right here. So now I know I spent $76,518 in the first six months of the year on benefits. Okay, if I want an average of those same numbers, I would simply click the drop down and change it to average. And my average a month was $12,753. So again, why would I use this versus any of the other tools for formulas is because I don't want the result pasted in my document. I just need it for me for whatever reason. Maybe I need to give it to my accountant or maybe I need to make a note of it for something else in another spreadsheet or another, or another program. So I use this shortcut in the status bar to do this for me. So again, I can simply drag across a series of numbers. So in this instance, I'm looking at my web advertising. And right now it tells me my average. But if I want to know the sum, I would simply click on the drop down and choose sum. So now I know I spent a whopping $72,000 on web advertising in the first six months of this year. Now, there are other options here for you besides average and sum. You also have count. And count can come in really handy if you want to just count the numbers of cells that are used. So in this instance, it's telling me there are six cells in here that are used. Okay? I can also do a max, which would give me the maximum number in the selected number, excuse me, in the selected cells, or minimum, which would be the opposite. So again, this lovely little feature comes in really handy if you don't want to replace the result of what you're doing. And all you have to do is simply drag across a series of cells to get the result down here at the bottom. Okay? And if you don't want a sum, you want something different, you click on the drop down and you would choose a different feature, average for instance. Okay? So once again, I can drag across a series of cells, I can come down here and I can choose count. So it tells me there's 16. Okay, well, I know there's more than 16 cells selected, but there's only 16 cells that have something in them. So it's not counting the empty cells in this instance. So keep in mind that count counts the cells that have something in them, not the empty ones. The other count that you have is ha count nums. Okay, in this instance, there's nine, there would, it would just count the numbers in the actual cells versus text. So again, average, count, count nums, max, min, and sum. And then you can also turn it to none if you don't want to use it. But I leave it on sum because it's there. And if I ever need it, I can just simply run across my numbers. And I've got my summation. Same thing here. I can grab all those and see how much money I've spent my budget this year, $280,000 thus far. Okay, So that's our tip for today, using the status bar to get some quick formulas on cells in a spreadsheet when you don't want to paste that result of that formula in the spreadsheet. You need to know it for a different reason. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please comment and share. We'd love to know that what we're giving you 
is of value. Enjoy your day and we'll look forward to seeing you again. Bye.